room, we've got our special education label and our outside with all of the decor that I got at the Target Dollar Stop. My lovely welcome to school apple tree. And then as soon as we come in, we have our classroom rules, our teacher lists, the everyone is welcome and belongs, mistakes are proof you're trying, this is our leveled reading resource library, extends here into audiobooks, we have our communication area, and then these are all things that I got at the Target Dollar Stop. The pencil display, the explore, create, think, read, write, learn. I actually had to go to two different targets to get all of those. And then those are actually little chalkboards, but we're just going to use them as decor for now. My color monsters our calendar and writing center, my make wise choices behavior display, our iPads, our writing into reading, those little pendants and the letters I all got at the Target dollar stop. Most of my posters come from Scholastic or Amazon. And then all the little labels you see on everything come from a Teachers Pay Teachers Early Edge Ventures uh, Teacher Pay Teacher store. So this is our classroom library. We're sur currently sorting some level books and so I've got picture books and novels, and they're all labeled, and then our listening center will be over here as well. It's right there. Headphones are there. Our table in the center of the room. I've got one of these little uh, marquees. We decided be kind to one another, was the quote. So then we start our math wall over here. Um, and it flows into over here, and then our speech and language area, which is a whole Seuss, more books that we're sorting, my magnetic whiteboard with its letters to do some work, my computer area, our milk crates for storage, my trampoline, my big time timer, and then this is our cubby board. Got a bunch of different things in it, all nicely labeled. These are my favorite classroom decoration. They are the seven grandfather teachings because I do teach in a First Nation school. So love, truth, honesty, bravery, wisdom, humility, and respect. Um, and tomorrow, we're going to get one more poster up there and a couple more things up over here. This is my otherwise disaster area of an office. We'll work on that. And then, I mean, our, our janitors are across the hall. Down the hall. Towards the gym. And there's our communication board for outside of our classroom we put up when we're having speech and language, but that's basically my classroom. Um, there will be three to four ladies working in here, myself, I'm Miss Kayla, uh, Miss Christy, Miss Joanne, and possibly Miss Judy. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I am a special education teacher on a First Nations reservation in Northern Ontario. Um, and our school is kindergarten all of the way to 12th grade. Those big boxes are math boxes and they'll also go out uh, to classrooms once we're done sorting them. So yeah, got a nice little classroom going on. <laughs> that was my principal. Uh, we'll end this video. This is actually we're not going to end the video. We're going to talk about this clock. I have been waiting to get this poster board set 
four or five years. This is my fifth year teaching and I finally got it. I am so happy. I really enjoy this math talk board. It helps the kids figure out what they need to talk about. These were from Scholastic. They are great. I unfortunately can't use all of them because we are Canadian, so we can't use the measurement one or the money one because they have it in uh, imperial uh, measurements and American coin and dollar names, but luckily it did come with a metric system one, so we're good there. We have our strategies for word problem solving. We have a lot of kids on speech and language, so those are the star charts for the kids who do speech. Eventually they'll be named there and dates and whatnot, and then we have our sounds. I got my hands on this predict question connect, visualize, infer, identify, and evaluate poster set at the end of the school year last year. It is your reading strategies. So I'm really hoping that we can focus on that with some of the kids who just need a little more help with their reading comprehension. Got reading is cool at home and at school. I don't know where I got that. I think I just inherited it somewhere. And then our writing, the writing process, my writing checklist, how to stretch a sentence, our parts of speech, and then up top, punctuation. This is another set that I got along with that math one on how to build a paragraph. So it has transitional words and phrases, topic sentences, and then how to do that. This is to work with kids on their behavior. Obviously, I'm a big fan of the chalkboard aesthetic. Only problem is, this chalkboard calendar didn't come with the 2330 and 2431, so I had to use the chalkboard brights one for that. We might change it out, we might not, I don't know, I haven't decided. And then obviously we have our supply station, made all new labels for those. This is all teacher resources. Basically from here to the door is all teacher resource stuff that the teachers can sign in and sign out. So like, we've got Canadian daily math, Canadian grammar practice, um, we've got daily phonics, social studies and science books, audio books. These are all different resources that the school has purchased that just needed to be photocopied more audiobooks. We've got some graphic novel sets. This is a really sweet graphic no novel set from Scholastic. It's called Raven's Tales. It comes with 3, 6, 9, 12, 12, oh heavens, it's Monday, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 different uh, graphic novels and a teacher's guide. This is the overflow because our bookshelf is not super awesome. And then this is our leveled reading library. Part of it's from Lakeshore Learning, part of it's from Scholastic, part of it's just books the schools acquired. Um, we have our schedule center. So our native language, uh, which would be French or your second language in other schools, gym schedule, high school schedule, Breakfast program information. I think that's the just the duty schedule. We've got our classroom layout for fire emergency exits. And then these are some pretty awesome things. This is area and perimeter, place value, and fractions. They're all from Lakeshore Learning, and I really love them. It's super helpful to give the kids something tactile. Um, obviously base 10 set for place value as well. And then we've just got games and pocket chart cards, word families. Uh, mental blocks is a really cool kind of STEM activity. Rush hour is a really good sort of just learning but not learning, like problem solving activity. These I love. They're called hot dots. And so they have a question and an answer and a little pen right there that goes with them. And if the kid gets the answer right, it'll light up green and say good job. If they get it wrong, it'll light up red and tell them to try again. Um, we have a big focus on manners mattering in our school. So I have the 
a child's book about series. I managed to get my hands on the whole thing. Um, category sorting, blocks, phonics stuff. Math manipulatives, puzzles, our noise canceling headphones, more puzzles, um, some high school stuff, audiobooks for The Outsider, The Island of Blue Dolphins, The Giver, and Touching Spirit Bear. I think we also have audiobooks for a couple of other novels, but they're over there with the novels. Um, so obviously, this is our iPad case. It's got all the iPads in it, it stays plugged in, and they charge. And then it gives me some storage, some more audiobooks, some headphones that go with it. I'll go more into depth about the books in my reading corner once all of this is cleaned up. That is a wobble board for the kids. And then that box is full of carpet squares that we are going to carpet tape to the floor, because our classroom gets very, very cold in the winter. It's not heated very well. But so that's my classroom at this point. I don't think much is going to change between now and meet the teacher night, which is like next week. Um, so we'll do another video on meet the teacher night and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, Canadian school system or special education in Ontario, go ahead and drop me a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. All right. Thanks.